Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit more about Harry and Meghan and uh, will their uh, venture be successful, especially in light of what's happening now with uh, Thomas Markle. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, the question is, you know, are they going to make it? Are they going to make a success of their uh, venture to be, um, you know, to 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 uh, not only uh, make their life uh, separate from the royals, but also to um, be able to return something back to humanity, which I suppose was their intent to begin with. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going from uh, my hotel in Bordeaux, where I'll be for about ten days total before moving back to Paris, and then eventually to Brussels, and eventually to Frankfurt. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, Harry and Meghan. Will they be successful in their new life and uh, and be able to contribute back to society in a significant way, the way they intend? Okay, so we're going to see uh, Harry and Meghan. Is this going to be profitable? Are they going to make their life a success? Are they going to return some value to humanity? And uh, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, so what I've got set up here in my hotel room is a map of the area that I'm using to get around. Um, your, this camera on my phone is kind of hanging off of a television that's on the wall with an arm that's extending it over. And then you are rested on top of a bunch of dirty clothes to get the camera up to the correct level. So just so you know what the setup is. And I tried lots of different things today. I went uh, downstairs to the lobby, looked in the bar, I went outside. Uh, and uh, as it turns out, the room is the best place to be. You can control the lighting in the room. I can close the uh, windows over there if I need to, draw the drapes to adjust the lighting. This print that they have on the wall seems to be a little interesting. So we'll see how that goes. But Harry and Megan, Harry and Megan, is their venture going to be successful. And listen, I'll be posting uh, videos from my uh, trip as soon as I can figure out uh, how to get all that done uh, on the road. Uh, uploading the videos, the last one I uploaded took, um, I think, three hours because of the quality of the internet. So it's never uh, perfectly reliable. And um, so we'll see how that is. But first, before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Now, I don't have my meditation signed, so you have to decide uh, what your mantra will be. And you know, I think I'm going to have to go through these cards and make sure they're all uh, in the correct order. You know, I have a, a funny thing about not being able to or not uh, trusting my intuition with inverted cards. So I like to make sure uh, that these things are uh, in the right uh, order before I get into a, a read. And uh, it's simply nothing else except that I don't uh, completely trust my uh, intuition for the reverse cards or my definitions. But then after all this diligence, if the cards do still present as inverted, then I know that uh, I'm meant to give it my best shot. Anything that happens during the video, I consider it was supposed to happen. So if I drop a card, if I miss cards, if I uh, somehow turn a card up over that's not supposed to, or you know whatever happens, I just have to trust that that was meant to happen. And um, you tell me what you think about it. But uh, we'll go through these. And it's a little funny doing this outside of a, your comfort zone because um, you know, in the comfort of your own home, in, in my office, um, you know, I know exactly what's going on. I've got a routine, but not necessarily here. It's been an amazing uh, trip. There were uh, four days to begin with in, in Paris. Then uh, I'll be 10 days total here in Bordeaux. Uh, then uh, back to Paris for about four more days. Then over to Belgium for 10 days. Uh, Frankfurt for a few days, and uh, the total uh, days all together will be 30 days, uh, but the rooms are booked and uh, some flexibility, but not a lot. Public transportation is amazing, 
enough about me. So Megan and Harry, will this venture actually be successful? Will they return some value to humanity as they expected? And, uh, you know, I'm on the Harry and Megan team. I don't mind telling you. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean that if they get negative cards that I don't read them. I do read exactly what the cards come out and um, we'll see how it goes. That's why I say I don't always 100% trust my, or not trust, but agree with my uh, intuitions uh, after the cards are read. And you'll find some readers that tell you, oh, everything I say is exactly right, or I never look at other readers, or you know, whatever. No, I'm just a regular guy like your regular folks. And um, the cards have definite meanings for me, and that's what I use for my interpretations. Okay, so let's get six cards to get this started. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And the first card, Harry and Megan, will they be successful in their endeavor? Will they return back to humanity as they've stated, as is their intention, I suppose. So the signifier card for that, is the emperor. Well, this is great because the emperor tells you that he is in complete control of his situation. Well, what the emperor says is going to go. So this tells me, Harry and Megan says, we're going to be successful. We're going to get back to society. And they get the emperor card as a signifier. Interesting. The challenge to that is the knight of wands. Now, the knight of wands is a great card to get as a challenge because he's the fighter of the royal court. The wands are actions, plans, mo movements forward. And this is telling me that uh, the challenge to the plan that they have is uh, getting that, uh, fighting for those actions, fighting for those plans and moving them forward. So it, it's not gonna be easy, it will be a challenge. The base of this reading then, Ah, interesting, is the Two of Swords. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the Two of Swords uh, tells us that uh, there's a choice to be made, one way or the other. So they're either going to chart, take a path of lesser intention or higher intention. And that's at the base of this reading. So that tells us that's what's going to determine their success or failure is what path they take uh, in the long run. In the past of this reading, ah, the Three of Swords. Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. Three of Swords is a broken heart. So disappointment. In fact, but we have disappointment in the past. So it looks like they have gone through a rough patch and they're having some disappointments regarding their next Netflix deal, I suppose. And so we'll see um, if that is, in fact, in the past. In the sky of this reading, then, is death. So that's interesting because death is not death, usually. Uh, it can be. But I think death is telling an end of a cycle. So in the sky of this reading with death card there, it's telling us their highest intention is to put an end to whatever the life was they had before and to start something new because after death, you have a new start. The um, likely outcome of this, well, we have the Page of Pentacles. You know, Pentacles are value or worth. The Page of Pentacles is the very weakest of the royal cards. And so this tells us there's going to be a message of value or a small amount of value or some offering of value that comes out of this. Not a great deal, but something. Okay, so that's interesting. Now I'll go after this over this at the end and recap the whole thing. So that I want to see what is the very self of that question. Will uh, Megan and Harry make a success of their life and make a success of uh, giving back to uh, humanity as they um, say they that's what they state they want to do. So the first card for the uh, self of that question is the King of Swords. I like having the King of Swords for them. Swords, truth, justice, rules, law, and the King of Swords is telling us. I am in charge of those things. I'm going to make these things happen. King of Swords as a signifier for all of that. I hope this is getting in the camera. Uh, the um, environment that that's in then is the Two of Cups. Okay, making uh, relationships, compassionate, emotional cups or compassionate emotion, uh, heartfelt situations. So making, and, and this uh, even signifies to me there may be some agreements, some uh, pledges that are involved there. So this king being in charge of his, um, uh, of, of his, of his rules, of his law, of his justice, is in the environment of making some deals. Netflix, TV, who knows? Okay, the hopes and the fears for all of that right here is going to be, ah, the moon. Secrets being revealed. So the hopes and the fears. Secrets being revealed. How can we take that? Well, we know there's lots of secrets coming out about Megan's family that are difficult. Secrets about Harry, how he feels about his family and the way that firm is run. And so the hopes and the fears of this are those secrets that are revealed. Interesting. Then the final outcome of the whole thing, Megan and Harry, will they make a success of their life and give back to society? 
as they stated they expect to. And the uh, likely outcome of that is the high priestess. Good card to get if that's a uh, good intention. Uh, high priestess has all the knowledge, uh, all the uh, wisdom, and all the uh, 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 what do you want to say? The, the ability to, to move this thing forward. If you had a problem and you went to a high priestess and she gave you a suggestion, you think, okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what's going to lead my decision. So we start out strong with this card. We say, Megan and Harry, are they going to be successful and give back to society and be able to support their life? And we get the emperor. In other words, that is the fella who's completely in charge of his riches, of his wealth, of how things are going to go. And he's challenged by what? He's challenged by the knight of wands, a fighter for the plans uh, that he has in, in, in place. So it's not going to be an easy thing to do. It's going to be a struggle. Then the base of the whole thing was making those decisions, uh, uh, the higher or lesser ground that you take. In the past of this, we have the, the uh, disappointment of truth, justice, rules, and law. That seems completely appropriate. And up in the sky, we have death, which is the end of a cycle, makes way for the beginning of something else. End that old life, start something new. So far, it sounds right. And then the likely outcome in the first part of this, with this page of penance in there, there will be a small offer of value. There will be steps in that way. There's a message of, of value that's being offered uh, to the situation. The very self of that question with this king of swords is telling us that, yeah, in charge of your truth, your value, your rules, and your law, that's where they are. And the challenge of it are the deals, the partnerships that they make uh, along the way. Uh, the hopes and the fears for that are those secrets that are being revealed. And they will be revealed, and they will be challenges, and some of them will be hopes, and some of them will be fears, obviously. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing with this high priestess is telling us they have the authority behind them, the uh, the overall uh, power uh, guiding them to make this thing happen. So this was a very positive reading. I think I'm going to leave it at that, and I like the way it came out. So you tell me, did that work for you? Do you think those answers were correct? I, like I say many times, after I look at the videos back, I don't always agree with everything that I that I read, but uh, generally, yes. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now. So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Waite uh, Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition. And um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, it wasn't clear that that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, uh, Wait uh, came to agreements on for the way that they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, uh, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose in a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, a quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature. So we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and 
did a treatment on them to make them look kind of, so I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have, but, um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built in patina. It's not real, you know, it's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. And so uh, that's, what's interesting about these cards. Now, the, uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two, um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing, and I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pamela Coleman Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. And wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up and you've got this beautiful uh, finish here and you've got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the, uh, the covers and see what's inside. And what is inside is a, a pack of the cards uh, and in truth what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box and uh, these cards uh, came in that box but um, I got this first and so I wanted to use the cards so I opened it up and oh look at that and I don't like that this has to be tucked down in there so there's a couple things that aren't perfect but uh, so I took the cards out of here opened it up started using them and then the other cards came and I realized oh well I can make this a complete set if I put these in here what's in here of course, you have the cards, and uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in if uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards, and so many people do. But uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition. And then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pamela Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn. Uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's, 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 it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are, these are actually postcards. Okay, so these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story. So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So, very interesting uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is. Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time, and um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The the name of this person is Mistress Page, and then you are a you are Mary, so am I. Ha ha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the, the book explains all of this to you. Then you get, uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for, for, I don't know what it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other ways. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost the little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful to use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them 
And so everything, everything, everything about this um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you want to get in a in a in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. So that's been the tour of these cards. And I hope you've enjoyed it. You really make a big difference. Thank you.